ओके पहला ज्ञान का जो मतलब इंटरव्यू में वो वो ब्रिजंग का कैसे लेता है वैसे ही नो नो वन वन बाय वन मतलब सिर्फ टेक्निकल लेके आ सिर्फ टेक्निकल या नो कैस एनी टाइप एनी टाइप कुछ भी कर ले उनके जैसे ही पूछूंगा पहले ज्ञान को वन ऑन वन हां वन ऑन वन मतलब नेक्स्ट राकेश का पूछूंगा मतलब वैसे ही पूछेंगे तो अरे अगर पास करने वाला होगा ठीक है एक बार मेरे से तो एक बार इससे एक बार मेरे से एक बार इससे ठीक है वैसा क्या हां यस सर ओके ओके व्हाट्स योर नेम माय नेम पहला ज्ञान हां माय नेम इज ज्ञान प्रकाश अग्रहरी ओके वेयर आर यू फ्रॉम आई एम फ्रॉम वाराणसी उत्तर प्रदेश सर ओके व्हाट्स योर व्हाट यू आर फादर फादर डूइंग व्हाट इज योर फादर्स नेम माय फादर्स नेम इज राजीव अग्रहरी एंड माय फादर इज अ सॉफ्ट कीपर ओके डू यू हैव एनी थ्री सिब्लिंग्स यस आई हैव टू ब्रदर्स वन सिस्टर ओके आह व्हाट दे आर वर्किंग वो भी पूछते हैं माय ब्रदर्स आह और इन्वॉल्व इन बिजनेस एंड माय सिस्टर इज आह आई हैव एल्डर सिस्टर और सी ब्रह्मा कुमारी ओके डू यू कंप्लीटेड योर ग्रेजुएशन सर अबाउट टू जस्ट ग्रेजुएट इन टू मंथ विच सेमेस्टर यू आर नो I am in eighth semester final year matter. What's your uh, CGPA till the uh, first to seventh semester? Sir, eight point three CGPA. Okay, where are you doing your uh, uh, graduation? In which college? Uh, Gautam Buddha University, Noida, NCR. Okay, where uh, which uh, university it is affiliated to? It's a UP government university. AICT. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Then. Uh, ओके ड्रॉ द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप No, I cannot see. Uh, change the background to normal because of that. Uh, it is I cannot see your paper. I think. Ah, no shame. Sir, uh, I have made like this only. Uh, uh, suction pipe, delivery pipe, mm -hmm. wall wood casing, impeller, IF impeller, uh, foot valve, strainer, discharge valve. I think impeller you did a little small right? Uh, yes sir, it's, it's a just one. diagram only. So in doing fast, I made a small. Okay, foot wall and strainer you did? Yes sir. Uh, up the sump, you can see uh, here is foot wall mm -hmm. where is yes, strainer. They are joined together. Okay. Foot wall is a non-return wall. Okay. Uh, explain how discharge pressure is created inside the centrifugal pump. Yes sir. Uh, when motor is starts. Uh, at the eye of impeller, impeller exert exert centrifugal force, and at the eye of impeller, negative pressure created, and it sucks the water. But uh, and uh, kinetic energy imparted to the fluid. But we see the uh, in a case of centrifugal pump, the volume keeps increasing. So the 
काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल कन्वर्टेड इनटू द प्रेशर एनर्जी एट द डिस्चार्ज साइड एंड देन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट वॉल्यूम इंक्रीजिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ केसिंग द केसिंग इज डिजाइनड इन सच अ वे दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द केसिंग कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग कंप्लीट द स्टेटमेंट एंड टेल प्रॉपर्ली मींस ईच एंड एवरी डोंट स्वॉलो द वर्ड्स मींस लाइक टेल एलोबरेटली okay uh, then uh, okay uh, then uh, uh, what happens if the air is uh, present uh, inside the in the certain side of the centrifugal pump okay sir sir uh, yeah, uh, first it will re- reduce the efficiency of uh, pump and sir if uh, air is pr- present so since air is compressible then fluid so it will not generate enough pressure and the fluid will not move forward suppose a section air uh, suppose air uh, uh, brick section okay since air is compressor uh, impeller rotating uh, it will get compressed rather than pushing a uh, further liquid forward so if it, uh, it get compressed it will not uh, also not suck the uh, uh, back liquid and so the impeller will keep churning raw and uh, it will not discharge it will not able to discharge so the efficiency of uh, uh, pump will decrease and it keep churning raw if the uh, if the air is uh, present inside the centrifugal pump <clears throat> as we know that uh, the density of the water is 1000 times the heavier than the density of the air so water cannot uh, so air cannot discharge water further instead uh, uh, we know that water is incompressible fluid air is a compressible fluid when the impeller exerts the pressure on the air so air rather than pushing the water forward it gets compressed so because of that it cannot move the water further this is the first reason second reason is if the air is present inside a centrifugal pump if water is there enough negative pressure is created inside the eye of an impeller if the air is there the, uh, it cannot create uh, enough pressure inside in inside the eye of an impeller so Uh, so we uh, we cannot uh, prefer to uh, air air to be present inside the centrifugal pump so you are telling properly so the, you tell means like you know everything but you tell again again you tell means you didn't uh, said like that means okay. you tell you wanted to tell this only right correct uh, this one only you have to uh, wanted to tell right yeah. so tell properly you practice this okay. you tell again and okay. again sir uh, since we know air is 1000 time uh, lesser denser than water so Uh, the centrifugal centrifugal force exerted by the pump will b- become less uh, thousand time less uh, as the centrifugal p- uh, force is mv square by uh, mv square by r okay so sir what will happen uh, rather than uh, uh, moving forward the section of air will get compressed and sir it will not able to generate and a pressure to either suck the liquid and discharge the fluid or uh, suck the fluid or discharge the fluid and it will keep churning raw uh, mm-hmm. uh, and sir uh, it can lead up to damaging the pump because uh, uh, if it keep churning raw the, there will be generation of heat in the windings uh, in the okay pump. again you didn't tell the, you again you didn't tell completely first thing is I will. I uh, point wise, you remember. First thing is, air is compressible, water is incompressible. Mm-hmm. Correct. You you listen. Just listen. Mm-hmm. You listen first, and you uh, you you know everything. You have to practice only. Means like uh, the same uh, problem is there with me. Uh, uh, there is no structure in the to the answer. So first thing is, uh, water is uh, incompressible, air is compressible, then water density is thousand times more than the air. so if you if the kinetic energy of the imp, uh, if your kinetic energy imparted by the uh, impeller uh, the, then uh, air air uh, air will get compressed water will water is incompressible so because of this it cannot move the water further so this much only you tell first will that be fine no means I'm like okay, uh, you, you you should not get irritated <laughs> i am just pointing out that no no uh, actually no, sir right. you are doing right okay okay because see uh, second time you told even worse means like you you are you have to get structured when answer okay. so i am telling this okay. so i am making you tell again and okay sir uh, first thing is first thing is what water is comp- incompressible okay. air is compressible uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. you tell from that okay so, uh, what happens with uh, if air is present in the water okay 
actually uh, water is incompressible and uh, air is compressible and uh, density of air is thousand times less than the density of water so the centrifugal force exerted by the impeller becomes the thousand times less okay the yes. the efficiency of pump will become less actually what happen when impeller tries to move and tries to suck the air and try to move it forward actually in spite of moving further the air get the suction of air get compressed and in spite of moving water further uh, air will get compressed uh, because of that not enough pressure is created to move the water because Tell of this. that because of that not enough pressure is created move the further section of water hmm so because th- air will get compressed uh, yeah so um, hmm. so under under problem uh, of being present uh, okay. air is it can cause cavitation also if the pressure is not generating cavitation caused due to the lowering of suction pressure and since the uh, yes. the pressure is not generating enough then uh, it means lowering of suction pressure that can cause cavitation also but efficiency of pump uh, will decrease yes, yes. motor windings can yes. get heated up yes, yes. Sir, uh, finally it can lead uh, damaging hmm. the pump that's why we require priming yes hmm. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, it is, uh, wait one second. This internet, uh, wow, internet a little problem is there. I will change the Wi-Fi. Okay. Hello? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Now you uh, told properly. You got it, no? Means yes, like, sir. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, uh, draw the VCRS system. राकेश का तुम्हारे होने के बाद बाद ही लेंगे ना मींस लाइक एज यू विश या मींस लाइक आई विल आई विल टेल आई विल क्यू टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम मींस वंस आई लेट हिम गेट ओवर टिल देन यू कैन स्टडी और समथिंग आई विल आई विल टेक्स्ट यू नेक्स्ट यू कैन लाइक वी कैन कंटिन्यू मींस विल दैट बी फाइन इन द मीटर ओके 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 आई विल बिकॉज़ आफ्टर इन द टाइम ऑफ इन द टाइम ऑफ इंटरव्यू आल्सो देयर विल बी वन ऑन वन ओनली इफ आई if i if i uh, ask you also question then it will become like uh, 9 pm we will do no discussion like that it will become it will not become so, a mock interview so because of that yeah. uh, okay okay if you are getting bored we will text you later you can come you can join later like that also we can do if you want if you if you getting bored i am having i am having no problem okay okay, okay. okay with then it's fine okay okay Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I cannot see it. Why little? Okay. Sir. Okay, little up. up. Wait. 
Inlet pressure gauge, uh, outlet pressure gauge, you didn't mention, I guess. Sir, I didn't write labeled it, but I, uh, it's a yeah, pressure yeah. gauge, I made it, sir. pardon me, sir. For okay, okay. okay, okay. Uh, explain me. Okay, sir. Sir, firstly, uh, starting with the compressor, compressor sucks the refrigerant and compress mm -hmm. it and make it high temperature and high pressure refrigerant superheated refrigerant then it will go through the condenser in condenser it is a, a isobaric process a constant pressure heat rejection superheated high temperature high pressure uh, refrigerant will first come to the saturated point and that the phase change will occur and at the outlet of conductor we, uh, condenser we will get uh, liquid refrigerant high pressure liquid refrigerant then it will go through the dryer there is a dryer dryer uh, consists of silica gel which absorb moisture if there any so after dryer it will go through the throttling valve throttling valve is a isenthalpic process in which sudden uh, temperature and it acts, act like an orifice in which sudden temperature and pressure drops occurs and then after at the outlet of throttling valve uh, 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 throttling throttling process we will get chilled liquid refrigerant low temperature low pressure chilled re liquid refrigerant it, then it go it will go through the evaporator evaporator is the region sir where we get refrigeration effect so evaporator cools the atmosphere by absorb uh, absorbing heat so temperature will rise at the outlet of evaporator we get high temperature superheated vapor and sir uh, this throttling valve also connected to the sensing bulb uh, why capillary tube uh, sensing bulb got some refrigerant the purpose of sensing bulb uh, uh, that is uh, connecting through the uh, uh, throttling uh, valve uh, throttling uh, thermal expansion valve is it ensure that the after evaporator only vapor refrigerant go goes through the compressor otherwise it can damage the compressor so Mm. Sensing bulb got some refrigerant uh, whenever there is some requirement or there is some reduction uh, from that only it signals the uh, TV which opens or close the valve like that only uh, and mm. makes the uh, at the outlet of your operator um, um, ensure that the superheated vapor have 5 to 8 degree of superheated okay and then yes. it goes to the compressor again this process continues sir. Okay, only condenser part explain me again. Okay, sir. Actually, after compressor, we have high temperature, high pressure liquid. Okay, uh, uh, no. in condenser, heat rejection takes place. High pressure, high temperature, high pressure? Superheated refrigerant. Ah, okay. You told liquid. Uh, sorry, so I'm sorry. Again. High pressure, high temperature, superheated refrigerant. That superheated vapor also you can tell uh, refrigerant also it's fine it is refrigerant uh, only superheated basically. refrigerant so uh, condenser is the place uh, condenser acts like a heat exchanger it rejects okay. the heat at constant pressure sir so, yes, uh, yes. first condenser uh, first refrigerant from superheated position it will come to the saturated point so after saturation uh, uh, before it will come saturated point the pressure and temperature will slightly reduce Okay, yes, then yes. at constant pressure and that is saturation pressure at which the phase changes occur in the uh, the superheat, uh, the saturated uh, refrigerant will convert into the liquid, uh, vapor yes, saturated yes. converts into the liquid saturated refrigerant. Superheated and, vapor will convert into the saturated Superheated vapor. vapor first convert into the saturated vapor. Okay, yeah, at yeah, that time uh, a slightly then, uh, yes, lo yes. lowering of temperature happened, but when the yes, pressure yes. Uh, uh, at constant pressure when uh, it becomes to the, comes to the saturation point, the uh, mm -hmm. heat rejection will take place at the constant pressure that is saturation yes. pressure and corresponding yes, to yes. that saturation pressure temperature will be also constant that will be also yes, that yes. is known as saturation temperature. So outlet yes, of yes. refrigerant we get high pressure. Uh, mm -hmm. liquid refrigerant at a slightly lower temperature okay, okay. then it yes, goes yes. through the dryer dryer uh, okay. absorb moisture then uh, sir throttling valve yeah yeah then um, okay. okay what uh, for the domestic refrigerator what will be the temperature in the inside the evaporator uh, sir uh, no, actually temperature at evaporator coil 
it depends on the which refrigerant we use. Uh, generally, uh, sir, it is minus 18 degree Celsius to minus 20 degree Celsius. And in case mm -hmm. of domestic refrigerator, there is two section. That is one freezer and other is normal. And freezer, mm -hmm. in freezer, it is, uh, it is. It is uh, uh, in a normal section. It is four degree Celsius. In freezer, it is uh, minus eighteen to minus twenty degree Celsius. Mm -hmm. You told the point. No, there it depends on the refrigerant. Ah, uh -huh. you use. Then in a case of R one three four, just wait. So. Minus 30, okay. Sir, uh, in a case of R134 uh, ref, uh, a refrigerant, temperature at the evaporator coil is minus 26 degrees Celsius, it's one bar, and temperature at condenser uh, coil is 30 degrees Celsius at 7.7 .7 bar. That I okay. have read particularly about this. Okay, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. Then uh, explain frosting. Sir, frosting is the frozen of ice due to. Uh, Frosting is the phenomenon. Frosting is the phenomena in which ice get frozen uh, above the water uh, evaporator coil. Okay, so in this case, it uh, it uh, it blocks. What is the causes of the frosting? Frosting first. First, tell sir, me the what is the causes of frosting. Sir, uh, presence of moisture causes frosting. I am not very okay. much sure about it. There are two ways where the frosting can occur. Okay. okay. First way is when you are filling the refrigerant inside the refrigerator. No, mm -hmm. if that contains some water molecules inside that mm -hmm. in the condenser section, whenever the temperature is get reduced, no, then then if the if the see what uh, if I told is impurities as a water. Basically, it is if there is a water uh, while uh, putting the refrigerant inside the refrigerator, if there is any uh, moisture content, no, because of that, the, that is the one cause uh, that frosting can occur. Second is uh, second cause is whenever if you keep the uh, keep the refrigerator doors open, okay, the air contains the moisture. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, the air contains the moisture. Whenever it comes in contact with the evaporator coil, evaporator, evaporator coil is a minus 18 degree Celsius, you know, means like it is a negative temperature. Mm. So the, at that time, the moisture will, uh, moisture will, the water content in, uh, from the air will, uh, will become the ice, means like it will get, uh, get ice, means like uh, the temperature of the, huh, gets frozen. So because of that, uh, the, that is the second reason. So when you when you drain the when you remove the ice from the evaporator in the, while going into the drain also uh, sometimes it will in the inside the pipe also it will get uh, get, get converted into ice. Mm. So uh, this is the basically is the frosting. It's like there is a two reason. One is the, this one uh, refrigerant to moisture content in the refrigerant. Second is the this is the reason. Second reason is this. Se second reason is what uh, can you? Repeat? Yeah, I I told no. Means uh, if the uh, doors of a refrigerator is open, the moisture content inside the uh, from the air will get uh, frozen on the evaporator coils. Whenever you try to remove it, it will uh, while it will it is going to drain. Uh, so sometimes in the inside the pipeline also it will get frozen. Hmm. It will uh, block the uh, block the circulation of the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. block the rate yeah. of heat from transfer. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. This is the second reason. Hmm. Understood. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you want to uh, want me uh, want you uh, do you do you want to explain again everything? Yes, sir. What is the causes of frosting and sir? Basically, the uh, there are two main uh, main uh, reasons that uh, frosting can happen. The first yes. one is whenever we fill refrigerant, there is a chances of pres being presence of uh, moisture in refrigerant, and that uh, gets converted, that get frozen inside, and which uh, block the circulation actually and the second is when freeze opens uh, the atmosphere contains some moisture that uh, got uh, to the evaporator coil and uh, get frozen yeah so there are these are the two reasons uh -huh. and for the first reason we have dryer that is silica gel contains that uh, prevents from getting and uh, yeah uh, even if if it if it fails to prevent no then it will block the thermostatic expansion wall because you know that in the thermostatic expansion wall the phase change will, uh, means high pressure high temperature liquid refrigerant is converted to low pressure low temperature uh, this one uh, uh, liquid refrigerant no mm -hmm. so because uh, at that process also because of that uh, the, there will be a minute pores inside the thermostatic expansion wall it will get blocked 
because of this uh, frosting yes sir understood yes sir ha huh. then uh, next question uh, is how you will identify the water in the refrigeration yeah, refrigeration means like water content in the refrigeration process sir uh, the first thing that that uh, uh, if uh, uh, i can visually see the water if there is uh, water that is uh, being uh, uh, inspection glass it is called as huh inspection glass inspection glass in what you know about it no sir i asked this to the one of the merchant navy uh, who, who is there in on board uh-huh. i asked him if uh, if there is any water content inside the refrigerant no uh-huh. after this uh, eva after this condenser uh-huh. there will be a receiver after that there will be a dryer uh-huh. even if there is an uh, liquid refrigerant uh, even if there is a moisture content inside the refrigerant there will be inspection glass in the inspection glass it is uh, it is filled with basically oil so if there is uh, you you imagine that you have an oil in front of you a, a tub of an oil or a cup of an oil mm-hmm. okay sir uh, can you hear me yes, can you hear yes sir ha uh, uh, if you put some water on the on this oil the oil and the water is immiscible it will it, it cannot mix you with each other yes, sir. so because of that uh, water is floats on the oil because of the density difference yes, so same thing will happen in the uh, refrigeration process okay if there is an water content inspection glass is filled with an oil so if there is an water content inside that there will be bubble formation in the form of the water means like you understand now because of the density difference there will be a water water will be floating on the oil mm-hmm. so be on the on that basis also you can identify if there is any water content inside the refrigerant okay yes sir then a second uh, way uh, how you can uh, uh, how you can see is you know, when whenever if uh, if the refrigerant flows Uh, inside the thermostatic expansion valve thermostatic expansion valve will get blocked yes. because uh, high pressure high temperature is converted to low pressure low temperature it will get frozen inside the thermostatic expansion valve mm-hmm. and uh, it will stop uh, thermostatic expansion valve will stop working so based on that also you can uh, identify okay. then uh, another way where, uh, from which you can identify is in the compressor compressor if there is a water content water is an incompressible fluid so to uh, to compress the water it will uh, exert more it will suck the more power okay yeah. now when it suck the more power uh, yeah, improper power you can uh, you can uh, identify based on that also okay sir you low boil high pressure cut or something high pressure cut out is there no means like yeah, a, low, a motor and yeah, low pressure yeah cutout. there is uh, Ah, uh, compressor safety devices in that one. Uh, one of them is uh, that one. Low pressure cut out, high pressure cut out, sir. Before. Ah, uh, yeah. Understood, no? Yes, sir. But basically, uh, uh, the there is an inspection glass for that before mm-hmm. condenser. Okay. Mm-hmm. Before condenser or after? Condenser? Uh, after condenser. After, after condenser. condenser. After Second. condenser, there is a uh, receiver, dryer, mm-hmm. inspection glass. Mm-hmm. There are, after condenser, there is receiver, dryer, and uh, inspection glass. sir inspection class uh, it tells indicates the amount of water that is present in okay yeah. and, uh, and also if thermostatic expansion valve is not working it is uh, it choking so we can also estimate that uh, there is some way more you, you explain properly no means like if choking means uh, uh, in thermostatic expansion valve if there is a water content there will be a choking yeah. it's like explain proper sentence okay. in proper way okay uh, uh, sir also uh, if thermostatic expansion valve is not working if we see the there is uh, uh, there uh, uh, there is a assumption that uh, there is a presence of water moisture that get frozen and it is choking the thermal expansion orifice uh, the to uh, in uh, provide to flow to provide to flow sir block hmm, to yes, flow yes. Uh, since it regulates yeah, yeah. the flow and sir th- the third is if compression uh, liquid is compressible so in a case of a compressor it will not able to compress that uh, it, the, there will be uh, some crack we can find in the compressor noise will be will be uh, yeah some too. noise and there will be a noise uh, yeah. yeah and a compressor starts to ag- extract more amount of power mm. that uh, that also you can see yes sir yeah understood no yes sir yeah. thank you sir okay, okay then uh, ha huh, uh, uh, what are the compressor safety devices explain all okay, compressor safety devices sir uh, safety valve bursting disc mm-hmm. 
लो लो बॉयल प्रेशर कट आउट यस जैकेट वाटर हाई टेंपरेचर अलार्म यस सर दीज आर द कंप्रेसर सेफ्टीज आर यू मिसिंग समथिंग ड्रेन सर ड्रेनर ड्रेन फ्यूजिबल प्लग दैट इज एयर वाटर बॉटल ऑटोमेटिक अनलोडर सर दैट वेन देर इज वेन एवर देर इज हाई करेंट ड्रॉन बाय द मोटर इट ट्रिप्स ऑफ दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक लेर दीज आर दॉर द टाइम बी एबल टू रिमेम्बर ओके डिफरेंस बिटवीन फोर स्ट्रोक एंड टू स्ट्रोक ओके सर स्टार्टिंग विद द नंबर ऑफ स्ट्रोक इन टू स्ट्रोक देर इज टू स्ट्रोक पर साइकिल दैट इज कंप्रेशन स्ट्रोक एंड पावर स्ट्रोक कंप्रेशन एंड इनटेक स्ट्रोक हैपन सैमेंटली एंड पावर एंड एग्जॉस स्ट्रोक हैपन सैमेंटली इन टू स्ट्रोक देर इज टू स्ट्रोक इन वन साइकिल इन ए केस ऑफ फोर स्ट्रोक देर आर फोर सेपरेटली स्ट्रोक हैपन्स टू कंप्लीट वन साइकिल दैट इज इनटेक स्ट्रोक कंप्रेशन स्ट्रोक पावर स्ट्रोक एग्जॉस स्ट्रोक In the case of two stroke, uh, uh, there is a need of uh, in two stroke less uh, uh, lighter flywheel is required. In the case of four stroke, a heavier flywheel is required. Uh, two stroke is high speed uh, engine, and four stroke is uh, slightly low speed for the uh, same size. Actually, uh, since uh, the number of cycle, the number of frequency. Uh, up crank shaft uh, revolution is more that's why it's high speed and it has lower uh, lesser moving parts and sir in case of two stroke engine uh, uh, since it it has uh, inlet port and exhaust valve and the uh, there uh, it uh, and only two stroke the scavenging will not happen properly as a compared to four stroke so efficiency of four stroke is uh, more because of better scavenging and in case of two stroke we have uh, uh, there is generally long piston okay <laughs> and on board shift two stroke uh, is used for main engine per uh, to uh, on board shift uh, two stroke is used as main engine and four stroke uh, as used as auxiliary engine yeah uh, in a case of and two the stroke the crank shaft revolution is 1 is to 1 crank shaft and two cam shaft revolution 1 is to 1 in case of four stroke is two crank uh, on a twice revolution of crank shaft there is, will be one uh, revolution of cam shaft in a case of two stroke the crank shaft and cam shaft is connected uh, via a uh, bell drive or chain drive in a case of four stroke the uh, 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 cam shaft and crank shaft connected via gear arrangement Okay, okay. And uh, another one is a two stroke can be reversed. A two stroke is bi-directional engine. Yeah. Can, yeah. Um, and four stroke is a single directional. Okay. Uh, why a two stroke is bi-directional in four stroke? No, no, this will not ask you. No, no, sir. Uh, I can explain you. this. Okay, okay. Tell. Because of sir simple structure, simple design, two stroke. Uh, uh, with the ch- so with some changing of valves, we can make it mm-hmm. a uh, 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 rotate reverse. That yeah. uh, it's, that's why. Uh, but uh, since four stroke is uh, four stroke engine is such a complex design engine, okay, good, good. so it is very mm-hmm. hard to make it bi direction. Yes. Perfect answer. I was expecting that. Thank you, sir. Then uh, uh, four stroke and two stroke. Happen. Ah, why four stroke is used as an auxiliary engine? Yes, sir. Uh, the first reason is auxiliary engine. Since auxiliary engine is used uh, to start uh, generators, and and uh, uh, four stroke engine need to burn high quality of fuel for longer period of time, and uh, four stroke uh, and in case of two stroke engine, it has. Uh, Uh, it requires longer stroke because it burns a low quality fuel for higher period of time so mm-hmm. uh, in a case of four stroke we don't require that's why uh, and in a case of four stroke the scavenging happens properly and the uh, maintenance require less so that's why 
and efficiency mm -hmm. is high that's why four stroke is used for and we don't require a, a bidirectional engine for uh, uh, starting mm -hmm. uh, the generators so uh, yeah. okay okay what are what are your strength and weaknesses sir talking about my the strength is i am good initiator sir i i like initiating i like to take lead uh, it can uh, i can give you one example in the very first year of my college i uh, there was ngo nearby our college that is yss jasodhara shiksha shibir uh, there was a very uh, there is a group of uh, uh, kids that is very unprivileged so i saw that and i decided to i will teach them so i take initiative and i started teaching to the primary student and secondary student there so after seeing this many of the my other colleagues joined by me there and we started and uh, later i got so much appreciation from the uh, vice chancellor of college the second sir i am a uh, good organizer i have organized many cultural events in my college uh, that is dramatics nukkar natak i have organized and also some government program i have organized in my college uh, last year unesco i organized uh, so i got uh, some experience how team get managed how uh, it increased my uh, communication skill how should communicate and sir the thirdly i want to say that uh, my strength is that i am spiritual person like having a spiritual perspective help me a lot help me a lot in getting uh, in overcoming stress anxiety and overthinking i like to meditate sir and uh, having a spiritual perspective uh, uh, enables me to see as an observant more rather to being over attached to something or some okay sir this was sir what is your weakness yes sir i do have weakness uh, the first weakness you can see that is my communication skill is not so good because i am very i belongs to very far village town there i don't we don't used to uh, generally speak english and uh, my schooling was not in a such uh, place there was such culture so that is my reason but i am continuously working on this uh, from the last couple of months i am continu continuously making the good command on english and uh, trying to improve my communication skill and i am very sure sir that uh, after continuously working uh, in the couple of months i will be uh, much better than right now uh, and sir the second weakness is my sir i hesitate to say no to the people like uh, if uh, if i don't feel anything important for me anything that is not adding value in my thing but in spite of people ask me our friends ask me to go somewhere so i hesitate to say no and ended up in wasting my time sir i think it because of lacking to convey them lacking ability to convey them i uh, suffered this but uh, i am trying to uh, increase this uh, communication ability conveying ability convincing ability so that my time will be preserved for me only yes, okay draw the gear pump
yes sir here it is here i have made a uh, two gear arrangement that is here uh, driver and f follower it will rotate in uh, why you join at the gear and the casing why you join at the gear and casing upper and lower casing because join it, it to the gear it, it it will trap the liquid here only na and then we'll there will be fine clearance it will yes, uh, not block the liquid yeah there is fine clearance uh, but i have not shown very much that clearance because it is very fine that's why i didn't so but uh, uh, i suggest you to little gap you maintain because you don't touch it okay. uh, because it will wear and uh, we are wearing of the, of that it will take place okay sir uh, my bad sir but uh, i know about this fine clearance thing uh, pardon okay, me okay. Okay. I will take care of this. Uh, sir, which one is the uh, left side? Which one is the driver and which one is the driven gear? In sir, the I have made way. driver uh, that is the downside and uh, follower that is the upside. In in left side okay. the volume I have made is less. Uh, in the in left side the volume I have made is more. Where is pressure relief valve? A pressure relief valve is a discharge side, sir, to measure the pressure uh, and also. You have to draw knife. Uh, draw right. Means like. It's a upper. Upper side, uh, sir has a drawn a field. Means that Pranit sir. Let me check, sir. Yeah, once check it, please. Because this is a compulsory question. This gear is. Yes, sir. 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 This you are talking about? Ah, yeah, yeah. Inlet Sir, didn't you? Yeah. Drive gear, inlet, outlet, gear, sir. Sir, didn't you? Especially the gear. Oh, here. Here, here, here. Oh. He drew. He drew the relief valve is above, like this only. Yeah. He drew, yeah. Yeah. I, I you didn't draw them uh, i actually didn't made the correct diagram i this is a disqualifying diagram yeah please draw properly okay. if you want okay sir you see okay, and maybe. draw and once you don't see and draw like that also you draw okay. practice it okay sir give me 1 minute sir okay okay See, I got it, sir. Exact diagram. Where I should do? Drew here. Okay. Can you send uh, on group that picture? On group. On okay. me, uh, me, me. I sent you the whole PDF. Yes, sir. I'm not good person. <laughs> See, even sir has maintained the fine clearance. He didn't attach it. I have sent you already in the phone. Okay.
yes sir i have made loosely the diagram now you can see that in the right side you have touched again the casing and uh, gear don't touch the gear and casing at any side you sir, have to maintain the fine clearance yeah teeth is there teeth and casing should be touched okay there has to be maintain the fine clearance See, i have sent you the search diagram only you no, can no, check no i have made the same it is not touching like it is touching okay, only okay i cannot see then it is teacher no. touching only and it is okay that to touch sir how it will if it not uh, it will touch i am very sure there will be the uh, no uh, problem in trapping and pushing it forward Uh, sir diagram okay, okay. is also touched yes there will be the fine okay. clearance okay. okay okay yes sir yeah but uh, okay, if okay, the okay. clearance is not there can let me interrupt you sorry for that okay. if the clearance is not there na then there may be chances of wear and tear of the gears and the casing there yeah, is that's what that i am telling yeah that's what i am telling but he is telling that it is okay to touch the gear and the casing no no uh, that this this two will be touching for sure that it will not touch uh, like upper side right side where it is touching where it is touching in the uh, right side uh, in the right side upper one upper follower gear oh, is the touching one. the casing yeah. Ah, yeah that there there oh yes sir my pardon my bad yeah that's what i am okay i will keep okay, okay fine you you can correct it uh, now explain the diagram okay sir uh, here we are saying that a uh, gear pump is a positive type displacement pump here we are saying that the uh, uh, there is an increase in volume that will led by decrease in pressure and decrease in pressure will create a negative pressure region here and uh, the, the fluid will draw, drawn into the uh, casing and then after this by mechanical meshing of the gears the fluid will uh, get trapped into the teeth of the Uh, gears and will be forced out to the at outlet side at outlet side the volume is uh, decreasing so, uh, and the pressure uh, that is uh, accompanied by the increase in pressure at the discharge side and in discharge side sir we have uh, pressure relief valve to measure the pressure uh, to check the pressure if it is high or that is so this is the proper okay that much is done and uh, another thing if you uh, want to mention you can mention that after entering uh, uh, as the area volume is increasing pressure will decrease the fl fluid uh, the negative pressure is generated inside the casing and fluid is sucked yeah. after sucking the fluid the fluid enters between the gear because of there there will be a suction pressure between the two teeth because of that it will uh, entrapped uh, the fluid will entrapped between the two gear yeah, yes, and it will be uh, taken to the discharge side. if you want you can mention yes sir. i uh, yes. said but uh, this ma whatever you said no that much is also more than enough okay, okay. Yes. Uh, then uh, explain the boiler mountings all okay sir let me start with the name of the boiler mounting the first is the uh, safety valve second is uh, uh, safety valve fuse valve plug is come blow down valve air vent cock uh blow up wall that much only i try to remember all if you can okay shall i tell the first one is a feed suck wall safety wall and uh, uh, scum uh, scum blow down wall and uh, uh, gauge glass gauge glass and uh, uh, steam uh, steam stop wall stop wall steam stop wall ha uh -huh. steam stop wall and uh, low uh, low low water level shut down that one is also low water level shut down fusible plug and uh, blow down uh, wall uh, blow down wall in the water side of this and uh, uh, water gauge i told no uh, total there is nine remember one thing remember ha vent cock vent cock Ah, yeah. yeah but if you are asking about the low water level shut down na then please don't mention the fusible plug because okay, okay. there is no such fusible plug in the marine engines uh, marine okay, boilers okay. sorry okay 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 okay, okay. okay. Uh, fusible plug okay there is no fusible plug in boiler 
If you mention low yeah. water level shutdown, then don't mention fusible gauge. Okay. Safety valve, gauge glass, feed check valve, air vent cock, steam yeah. pressure gauge, boiler blow down valve, scum valve, uh, steam stop valve, and fusible plug. That much only. How much you told? Nine. There is total uh, nine. Yes, sir. You told nine all. Yes, sir. First one is safety valve, second is gauge glass, third is feed check valve, fourth is air vent cock, fifth is steam pressure gauge, sixth is boiler blow down valve, seventh is scam valve, eighth is steam stop valve, ninth is fusible plug. Okay, now without seeing you tell. The first one is safety valve. Hmm. The second one is gauge glass. The third one is feed check valve, fourth is steam stop valve, fifth is air vent cock, sixth is gauge, um, uh, uh, boiler blow down valve, seventh is um, uh, fusible plug, eighth is देखना नहीं है भाई Pressure gauge you told. Pressure gauge. Yeah, I am confused between blower, boiler, blow down valve and scum valve. Scum valve is in the steam side and boiler blow down valve will be in the this one water water side water drum water drum side. In the down side. Yeah, and in the steam steam drum there is a this one what scum valve. Yeah. Do you know what's the purpose of both? Yeah. Yeah. Scum. Yeah, scum. Huh. Scum valve is a floating type valve that uh, that is for floating the, type valve. Is floating uh, oh. ball yeah. uh, having a floating ball that, is, okay. that uh, clear the any scum at the surface of the water and boiler. Where it is placed? Uh, in a uh, uh, upside. In a stream drum, you tell that. Don't say upside. In a stream drum. Yeah, and it will uh, remove the floating debris. And uh, if there is a foamy particle uh, which is suspended on the in the inside the stream drum, no, that it will. Yes, sir. And the boiler blow down valve will remove the uh, whichever the rocky or uh, this one, uh, whichever the settled down particles will be there, no, in water drum, that it will. Remove. Okay. Okay. And uh, do you want to say try again? It means all nine. Mountings. Okay. Which one you have uh, left uh, uh, first? Uh, check that. Which one you have left? Uh, sir, give me nine seconds. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. The first yeah, one is safety valve. Second is gauge glass. The third is feed check valve. Fourth is air vent cock. Fifth is steam stop valve. Fifth is uh, steam pressure gauge. Sixth is uh, boiler blow down valve. Seventh is scum valve. Eighth is steam stop valve. Ninth is fusible mm -hmm. plug. Yeah, uh, that one feed check valve you left. Uh, yeah, I, I said think. feed check valve at three. Seventh, okay, it okay. is scum valve. Sixth, it is okay. uh, boiler blow down valve. Fifth, it is mm -hmm. uh, uh, steam pressure gauge. Eighth, it is steam stop valve. Ninth, it is fusible plug. Two, okay. it is okay. gauge glass. First, mm -hmm. it is safety valve. Okay, Four, how fusible plug works? Okay, okay, fine. How fusible plug works? Sir, fusible plug is a kind of. Uh, oh, it is uh, not there. He told no, Rakesh. Yeah, fusible plug is not there. He told. Okay, fine. Uh, steam stop wall. How it yeah. works? You tell. But still, he may ask you the this question. Yeah, yeah he asked uh, in some uh, interview. I Means I don't know to whom. Uh, yeah. One question was what is fusible? Uh, uh, the works? temperature uh, from the limited. Most times he asks this question. The temperature. Mm -hmm. If the temperature gets high, when there is a low water level. In the steam, mm -hmm. the temperature 
gets high and then uh, the uh, the fuse valve plug got some gun metal inside it that is melt that melted it is made up of gun metal it is made up is of gun metal. metal it get melts mm -hmm. and and after melting there will be uh, draining of water inside the boiler from that uh, no, no, uh, uh, wherever the, uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay okay fine how steam stop valve will work how steam stop valve is steam stop valve uh, is the outside of the steam okay uh, that uh, is for to that is to uh, prevent uh, steam hammering uh, steam stop valve uh, yeah that much is enough uh, right it, it uses to stop the steam hammering mm -hmm. then if we, if we cross question the what is steam hammering then you have to be ready with okay. it okay yes sir uh, and then uh, mm, uh, how vent cock will work vent cock yes sir well, okay vent cock vent cock vent cock is generally uh, installed in the boiler to prevent it from implosion because mm. there is a chances when uh, boiler is shut down shut off and then there is a chance that the steam in the boiler get condensed condensed and it will okay. ignite by losing a pressure so the pressure of the it uh, atmosphere becomes more and uh, then the pressure inside the boiler there is chance of mm -hmm. imploding sir it can get yeah. across that much is enough okay. yes sir uh, auxiliary engine safety device tell. okay sir no, I will ask one non-technical question because okay. he does like this one. Why you want to join Merchant Navy? Sir, uh, after researching a lot of career after my intermediate, I got to know about this field and uh, from the very uh, early childhood, I had a dream to explore myself, to go very far from the my region, that from where belongs because it was I was very, I was facing a scarcity and we were having limited possibilities. So I think this, uh, going into this field, uh, this career will help me in exploring, will working with the other nationalities, people will uh, in, improve my personality as well as will teach me uh, the lesson of the life and also I will get to hard work and in a disciplined mode. And so moreover, uh, I wanted to do work with big machineries and that I will be working on a ship and sir, no less, yes, money is also the reason. Uh, I have lived my early life in scarcity and I don't want to live my further life in, uh, um, in such a way that I have lived earlier life. I want to change my life and i want to change i want to open more possibilities for my belongings upcoming belongings. okay okay fine well i explain auxiliary engine safety devices yes okay. sir uh, the uh, auxiliary engine safety devices are low lubrical pressure trip high jacket water alarm yeah uh, uh, in a case of two stroke engine oil mist detector system yes fuel oil leak of alarm yes uh, and जी हम जब बेच दियो यार मेरे को इंजन ओवर स्पीड ट्रिप एंड रिलीफ वॉल्व सर या वो अंदर ही होने से एवरीथिंग यू टू हम थर्मामीटर से सर दैट इस फ्यूल ऑयल लीक ऑफ लाम फ्यूल ऑयल लो प्रेशर आ जस्ट सो ओके and uh, uh, this one uh, refrigeration uh, system uh, uh, what are the safety devices sir, sir low mm -hmm. pressure cut out high pressure cut out we are having yeah. low lubile yes. pressure trip yes uh, bursting disc yes. yes cooling water low pressure uh, cut out in condenser and oil i told you i told you to put it in post it and you post uh, paste it on the over the screen if you say means like if you miss something then if you see, you can you can see now but uh, in the inter real interview time you cannot see no uh, paste it over the screen then uh, uh, daily you see it daily you revise it then only you will not forget uh, still uh, you didn't get the mail right 
Okay. Then uh, you uh, then you post it on the paste it on the on the screen and uh, daily you practice it. Yeah, today I will buy, sir, for cheating. I told you that day only. Why? <laughs> Okay. I am not good for that. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, it, there is something called post it. Wait, I will show you. Sir, you are teaching children to cheat. Sir, okay, then go and very, fail. You okay, are, then fail. You are very chalak, sir. You are very chalak. <laughs> it will be like this. Say. Post it, it is called as. Okay, there will be government. Not very Can't much help from there. Huh? <laughs> you know this, Mr. Rakesh. This post it is there. Uh, and you can uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. You can I write everything. Use it before two times. Okay. You can uh, you can I write it, it and you can paste it on the screen. Then uh, paste on the screen. It. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, I did okay. everything before, but he <laughs> still didn't select me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then uh, then which question is left? Uh, Sir, what about my oh, yeah. non-technical answer? Did I? Yeah, uh, why do you why you want to join Anglo Eastern? Sir, uh, uh, I research about other companies also, but what I find good thing now in Anglo Eastern, uh, uh, it is it is one of the greatest management company. That is managing mm. handling handling management in India. That is having a more number of ships and uh, more career opportunity. And it the stand I like the standard of the Anglo Eastern company. It took care. Uh, it take care of uh, uh, his employees uh, regarding everything, sir. I like it, sir. I and I prefer it more over other companies. To join okay, explain Saturday's law. Sir, Faraday's law basically tells the relationship between the electric uh, circuit and magnetic field. Uh, Faraday's law consists of two laws. First law tells that when there is, there, whenever there is a relative motion between the electric circuit and magnetic field, there will be an induction of EMF, electromotive force. And the second law quantifies that EMF, that the EMF will be equal to the amount of flux linkage. Okay, EMF will be the equal to the minus d phi by dt and minus yes, yes. is to, uh, being told by the lens law okay tell the lens law uh, sir lens law basically tells about the direction of the induced magnetic field that is uh, that is opposite to the existing man magnetic field suppose uh, there is a relative motion between the electric circuit and magnetic field man uh, there will be the generation of current in the electric circuit if current is flowing then it is uh, very sure that that current will have magnetic field and that magnetic field direction will be in the opposite in direction of that existing magnetic field through which the current is being induced Okay, why we want to hire you? Sir, I think I am uh, fit for this service and I am more, I am not saying I am more credible than other people, but I know myself, I know my eligibility and credibility. I consider myself to be hired in this uh, service because uh, there are certain things which its service required and from the last four year i have prepared myself for that only the first thing is uh, adaptability sir uh, in this career uh, in this in this sailing career on the ship uh, it is one of the most prior thing one can have uh, prior quality one have can have because ships keep sailing people keeps changing no two days on ship or same so uh, being adaptable and being focused is the more uh, good thing to one can have to uh, 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 to make good in the, this career. Uh, and the second thing is, sir, I am very much aware about the sacrifice, what it's need. That is living away from family since, so I am ready for that. Also, sir, uh, I. I uh, studied enough and acquired so much knowledge to uh, 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 give my excel in this career and yes sir i am mentally prepared i have such qualities which this career require i think sir 
but uh, lastly it's up to you if you find me fit if you find me eligible then you can select me sir why busting disk is used in the compressor sir busting disk is used in the compressor to prevent the body of intercooler actually busting disk located in the inside the body of intercooler and after cooler when the hot compressed air passed through the pipes in the intercooler it there is a, if there is a leakage in that the water inside the intercooler will get will uh, become get pressure uh, if there is a leak it will be highly pressurized the water and what happens there is chance of the busting of that disc there is chance of damaging of that body so what happens the so busting disc is made of copper or aluminium disc it get bust and while it bursts so there is a draining of water happens and it um, ensure that the releases of excess pressure while draining yes sir. okay difference between the centrifugal pump and positive displacement pump okay a centrifugal pump is a rotodynamic uh, works on the rotodynamic principle positive displacement pump work on positive displacement principle centrifugal uh, 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 centrifugal pump uh, the suction and discharge happens radially and in positive displacement pump it happens uh, axially uh, okay uh, in a case of centrifugal pump there will be requiring of priming in a case of positive displacement pump we don't require priming at all in case of centrifugal pump uh, uh, we can't use we can't make flow a highly viscous liquid but in case of positive displacement pump we can flow the highly sir one minute my net has gone I'm, uh, it was like uh, uh, he asked me some questions, <laughs> and uh, then uh, later he asked me the working pressure of the bursting disc at that okay. at which pressure it bursts. So, what is the working okay. pressure? I'm bursting not pressure? able to answer. One point five uh, percent, one point five times of uh, cooling water pressure. I think. One point five times of 1. working 5 pressure. Times Times working pressure of cooling. No yeah. working pressure working of cooling pressure water. Of cooling, no. water. cooling water. No. 1.5 working pressure of the normally working pressure. 1.5 times of normally working pressure. Something oh. like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, I was telling when I got cut off. When I got cut off. Okay, okay. later I will uh, get to you, Rakesh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, tell me, yeah. So I was telling uh, centrifugal pump and uh, positive displacement pump. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, I got cut off? No, from starting you tell it's fine. Centrifugal pump work on the principle of rotodynamic principle and positive displacement pump work on the positive displacement principle. Uh, centrifugal mm. per, uh, pump, uh, the suction and flow, the suction and discharge uh, happens mm. radially. The, means there will be perpendicular mm. flow. In case of positive displacement pump, okay. it will be axially uh, flow. The suction and uh, discharge will lie on the same axis. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Yes. In case of centrifugal pump, we can't use highly viscous fluid to flow. In case of positive displacement pump, we uh, can use centrifugal pump are uh, the pump that uh, uh, requires the discharge valve shut. 
before starting but in case of centrifugal uh, positive displacement it there is no such thing in centrifugal pump sir uh, the uh, pressure the working pressure and uh, flow uh, keeps changing uh, in a case of positive displacement pump working pressure is constant uh, the the flow is constant working pressure changes according to the motor uh, according to the load and in a case of centrifugal pump there is a impeller uh, blade system that uh, uh, creates negative pressure in case of positive displacement pump there is piston cylinder arrangement uh, in a case of centrifugal pump uh, sir the uh, efficiency you can't uh, say piston cylinder arrangement and uh, impeller uh, that is not valid because uh, you are not uh, telling the difference between the centrifugal and reciprocating My this is the difference between positive uh, positive displacement okay. pump and uh, okay. this centrifugal okay. Okay. Pump. Okay. so uh, in a case of uh, centrifugal pump uh, the efficiency is uh, is totally it depend on the uh, flow discharge in case of uh, positive displacement pump efficiency depends on the uh, working pressure, pressure. So, okay yes uh, in a case of centrifugal pump we requires priming but in case of positive mm -hmm. displacement pump we don't require priming and uh, mm -hmm. where there is a high discharge required we use uh, centrifugal pump on uh, on board ship we, we use uh, blast water tank for blast water tank uh, we use centrifugal mm -hmm. pump for sea water mm -hmm. we use for fresh water mm -hmm. generator we use centrifugal pump and for yes. emergency fire pump we use centrifugal yes. uh, in a case of positive displacement whenever we require the large pressure mm -hmm. the large working pressure then we use positive displacement pump these are the differences that we have okay, okay. difference between the reciprocating and rotary pump okay uh, reciprocating and rotary pump uh, sir rotary pump yes. and reciprocating pump rotary pump uh, has there is a rotor mechanism that uh, rotary pump uh, uh, examples are gear pump screw pump when pump low pump okay and reciprocating mm -hmm. pump okay. is the uh, um, uh, piston pump can be known as reciprocating pump that is single acting piston pump double acting piston pump diagram pump is also a reciprocating pump Mm -hmm. Isn't sir? Yes. Okay. So, uh, in a case of uh, rotary pump, we have uh, some rotor mechanism. Like uh, uh, in a case of gear pump, we have gear arrangement, screw pump, screw arrangement. Uh, uh, in a case of uh, um, uh, reciprocating pump, there is a piston cylinder arrangement. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Okay, first difference is reciprocating pump. It uh, uh, what I will say is uh, it it, uh, it works on a principle of reversed piston movement. Reverse piston. This is the principle which which way which works a uh, reciprocating pump. Rotary pump uh, it is uh, it, it works on a positive displacement principle. Okay, uh, first difference. Second difference is uh, for an uh, for a reciprocating pump uh, there will. Uh, uh, there will there will be a, a fluctuating flow in the reciprocating pump rotary pump there will be a continuous flow of the fluid in a uh, rotary pump there will okay. be a fluctuating flow and, uh, in a intermittent flow in a case of reciprocating pump uh, that's why it's required air vessel air vessel to make it yeah continuous. yeah air vessel will be there and air vessel is absent in this uh, rotary pump then uh, there will be a more maintenance is required for in reciprocating pump and less maintenance is required for the rotary pump and the reciprocating pump is very costly rotary pump is cheap uh, cheaper compared to the reciprocating pump. reciprocating I think this pump, is a difference uh, reciprocating pump requires more lubrication than rotary pump so the reciprocating pump requires the lubrication rotary pump does not require uh, the lubrication uh, yeah these are the things okay these are the five differences. You want to say again? You tell, uh, tell again. Practice it. Uh, uh, the principle of reciprocating pump is reverse piston, uh, reverse, reverse piston movement. Uh, you you uh, return it, right? Means uh, whatever I, I told return it, I forgot it. Okay, okay. Okay, then you tell. Uh, if you return it, you can practice reverse it later. Piston, you can uh, repeat it. Reverse piston movement. In the case of rotary hmm. pump, it works on the positive displacement. 
okay uh, principal uh, principal in the case of uh, a rotary pump we get continuous discharge continuous mm. flow in the case of uh, reciprocating pump the flow is uh, fluctuating we get intermittent yes. flow uh, and that's why we use air vessel okay yes uh, and uh, in a case of rotary we don't use air vessel in a case of post, uh, reciprocating lubricant more lubrication is uh, required in a case of a rotary we don't require lubrication at all uh, don't see case, and tell okay don't uh, see and tell uh, you got to know sir okay sir sorry sir in a case of uh, you are you are seeing like this and you are telling how can i how can i get to you know if you want you post it over the okay. screen i will not get to okay. know in a case of uh, positive uh, reciprocating pump um, there is piston cylinder arrangement in the case of rotary pump there are three, three types of rotary pump groove pump gear pump uh, screw pump uh, basically lobe pump when pump is also rotary rotary pump they got some uh, rotary thing to create a suction and discharge negative pressure and discharge pressure for that and uh, man just uh, say the uh, difference don't uh, don't explain okay, okay. just uh, say uh, list out the difference okay all right so you can move on to the next question no you list out no means everything you didn't tell i told na uh, what we had written okay Okay, uh, tell again. Don't see and tell. Okay. Uh, tell without seeing. Now, uh, the principle is reverse piston. Reverse piston moment, moment. and uh, positive displacement principle. Uh, continuous flow, discontinuous flow, fluctuating flow. Air vessel required. Air vessel don't required. Lubrication required. Lubrication not required. High maintenance, uh, low maintenance. Uh, high cost, low cost. Higher pressure generate higher pressure comparatively to the these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Then uh, yeah, all question is covered. What about non-technical? Do I able to uh, describe it good, like from the last time? Yeah, yeah it's, it's good, good but uh, still uh, in flow you can tell and uh, it's it's satis it's good it's good uh, good sir mm -hmm. <laughs> last time you told na yeah. then i written it uh, systematically that's why i yeah, am yeah. good initiator followed by an example i would like i yeah, in yeah. a case of weakness i said two weaknesses okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, rakesh your uh, mm -hmm. feedback Uh, it's okay, man. I think you are just uh, good with that. Before, like, पहले तेरा क्या था? तो काफी सिंपल कर जाता था. Now you write it in the properly on the page. Now it's okay. Only a few initial questions is there. No, you have to practice it. Like, yes, sir. A few initial questions. Rakesh, ये कह रहा था मैं. कि लाइक और क्या क्या इम्प्रूव कर सकता हूँ तुझे क्या क्या लगा कि मैंने कहा कहा कर रहा था मेरे को भाई जब तू एक तो देख के मत बता नहीं ये तो वो नहीं ठीक है ओके और दूसरी चीज जब अपना वो वो बता रहा था ना क्या बोलते वायलर नहीं यार वायलर की सेफ्टी तो उसको ये मत करके बोल फोर नंबर पे फाइव � उसको थोड़ी ना पता कि तेरे को नो आती है कि दस आती है नहीं नहीं तो मैंने तो ऐसे ही बोल दिया ना मैं वैसे नहीं बताऊंगा बस ऐसे कर दूंगा और बाकी सही था कम्युनिकेशन स्किल मेरे को समझ में आ रहा था कम्युनिकेशन स्किल हाँ काफी अच्छा था अच्छा रिशि राणा सर और ओब्राइस सर रहेंगे तो सेलेक्ट कर स मेरे हिसाब से तो ज्ञान अच्छा बहुत इम्प्रूव किया है मतलब लास्ट टाइम जब मैं जब गया था ना तो उससे भी मतलब बहुत द फिफ्टी गुना बहुत अच्छा मतलब बहुत अच्छा से इम्प्रूव किया थैंक यू आई होप तो गेट तो ज्ञान हाउ द पिस्टन एंड कनेक्टिंग रॉड्स आर कनेक्टेड सर इट इस कनेक्टेड बाय ए गजियन पिन Crank shaft is connected. Sir, crank pin. 
piston and crank crank connecting rod and crank shaft is connected through the crank pin and in case of two stroke connecting it is rod. it is connected with the cross head bearing because of longer stroke cross head bearing helps in connecting rod connecting rod connecting rod maine tere ko piston aur apne piston aur wo bola crank shaft okay that is connected to the crank connecting rod is connected ये तभी पूछा मैंने क्योंकि लास्ट टाइम एक बंदा है जी एम थर्टी फाइव का उससे मेरी बात हुई तो उसने मेरे को बोला कि इसने पहले मेरे को ये क्वेश्चन पूछा इजी वाला कि पिस्टन और कनेक्टिंग राड कैसे होता है बाद में उसने पिस्टन और क्रैंक शाफ्ट पूछ लिया और वो, वो तेरी तरह मेन हाँ वो कनेक्टिंग राउड आएगी ना बीच में इसने पूरा बताना था कि कनेक्टिंग राउड से अपना गजन पिन से कनेक्टिंग राउड और पिस्टन रहेगा कनेक्ट देन पिस्टन राउड और अपना क्रैंक शॉप से विद हेल्प ऑफ कौन सी थी वो क्रैंक पिन उससे कनेक्ट रहेगा ठीक है ऑक्सिलरी पिस्टन में ट्रंक टाइप का कनेक्शन होता है इसमें क्रॉस हेड बियरिंग होता है ये सब भी जाएगा क्या क्रॉस हेड बियरिंग नहीं इतना ज्यादा नहीं यार चार देख पांच चार से पांच तक का अगर डिफरेंस बता देगा तो मोर देन अनफ ये कह रहा था कि इंप्रूवमेंट हुआ है ना मेरे मैं जो नॉन टेक्निकल बता रहा था हां भाई ठीक है और उसके बाद इंप्रूवमेंट तो हुआ बहुत लेट्स गो डियर मैं तेरे को खुद बोल रहा हूं कि मेरा तो नॉन टेक्निकल ले भाई किसी दिन अच्छा यार मैं नॉन टेक्निकल लेने में बहुत अच्छा <laughs> तभी तो बोला लूंगा यार एक बार कॉन्फिडेंस बन जाए थोड़ा सा ठीक है आशीष ब्रो यू कैन गो विद राकेश ब्रो ओके यार तो ना मैं पहले तुम्हारा मतलब फीडबैक देता हूं मैं हां हां ज्ञान वापस आओ तुम दो या तीन जगह में मतलब तो अटके इस इसमें एक तो सेंटर फिगर पंप का वो जो एक्सप्लेन कर रहा था ना वो थोड़ा मतलब प्रैक्टिस करो फिर से उसमें मतलब तो मिस्टेक कर रहे थे और सेकंड हाँ ओके और सेकंड तुम बॉयलर माउंटिंग में अटका अटके हुए हो उसमें थोड़ा मिस्टेक हुआ है और तुम वो ये सेफ्टी डिवाइस जब तुम बोल रहे थे वो वो तुम्हें दो छोटा था मतलब थोड़ा टोटल छह था तुम वो चा, चार बोले हो इसलिए वो दो और तुम मतलब वहां पे थोड़ा मिस्टेक हुआ है और थर्ड थिंग तो थर्ड क्वेश्चन में तुम कहा ये एक था क्वेश्चन फ्रॉस्टिंग फ्रॉस्टिंग में जब पूछा ना तब तुम दोनों कॉजेस तुम नहीं बता पाए मैं जब बोला मतलब तू रिपीट किया प्रैक्टिस किया पर और भी थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस करो वो वो क्वेश्चन में थोड़ा अटके हुए थे और फ्रॉस्टिंग और या इसमें भी वाटर पेंट सिर्फ वाटर एंटर्स इन टू रेफ्रिजरेंट वो इंस्पेक्शन ग्लास तुम नहीं बोले थे और दो कॉजेस है और थर्मल एक्सपेंशन वॉल और सेंट्रफ्यूगल पंप में नॉइज आता है थर्मल एक्सपेंशन वॉल में चौकिंग होता है वो थोड़ा मतलब नोट कर कर लियो और नॉन टेक्निकल तुम सारे बोले हो मतलब वो तो जो एग्जामिनर आएगा उसका दिमाग में ही डिपेंड होगा पर मेरे हिसाब से तो तुम ना सब सब कुछ कवर किए जो भी क्वेश्चन पूछा था हाँ वो सारे क्वेश्चन कवर किए थे और जब मैं ये एक डिफरेंस भी पूछा था तुम दो ही पता पाए सेंटर फिगर पंप और पॉजिटिव सारे बोले थे क्या नहीं मतलब मैं लाइट कट गया था ना मैंने तो सारा बोला था कम से कम सारा बोला था ना सात बोला था छह सात बोला था ठीक है बोला था तो ठीक है मतलब मैं जब जस्ट रिव्यू कर रहा हूँ मतलब तू जहाँ चाहिए बाकी सब तो ठीक था किसी क्वेश्चन में ब्लैक आउट नहीं ना हुआ ब्लैंक नहीं ना हुआ ब्लैंक तुम बॉयलर माउंटिंग दो दो या तीन पहले बार दो या तीन बोल के तुम शांत हो गए थे फिर बाद में तुम सारा नो बोले थे वो एक ही क्वेश्चन में तुम ब्लैंक हुए थे इसी में फेल हो सकता हूँ मैं इसको करना पड़ेगा मुझे ठीक है मुझे ड्रीम हाँ, पैकेज और बहुत अच्छे से अच्छे से मुझे जो लगा ना तो बस्टिंग डिस्क बहुत अच्छे से बोले वो उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन परफेक्ट था और क्यों रोटेट होता है टू स्ट्रोक और फोर स्ट्रोक वो भी ठीक था ठीक था वो भी अच्छा ओके और ये क्या बोलते हैं कि अगर मैं ऐसे ही मेहनत कर लूँ थोड़ा और इम्प्रूव कर लूँ तो मेरा चांस बन सकता है निकलने का राकेश और तुम्हारा कौन बोला तुम्हारा चांस नहीं है पहले बात वो बोल कौन बोला तेरे को चांस नहीं है अभी ये बोलने वाला था तुम तुम क्यों अपने आप पे बिलीव रखो रहे तो क्यों ऐसे पहले सोच रहा मेरा चांस नहीं बनता आज तक दिया नहीं भाई 
तो थोड़ा तो तुम्हारा हो हो जाता है इस बार तो सोच मत उतना अगर फिर से मैं अगर मॉक इंटरव्यू लेना चाहे तो जब भी बोल मैं लेता हूं मैं आज सूरज रात पढूंगा ना तो मैं ऑल अप सडन मैं राकेश से एक्चुअली मेरे मम्मी का तबीयत सही नहीं था तो मेरा मूड खराब था राकेश और मैंने डिसाइड किया था कुछ पढ़ेंगे हम तो मैंने कहा यार क्या है पढ़े मन ही नहीं कर रहा है तो ऐसा करते हैं आशीष को बुला लेते हैं मॉक ले लेता है ठीक है देखते हैं क्या होता है स्ट्रेस दिमाग में मैं मॉक दे सकता हूं कि नहीं तो मैं पूरे मेरे तरफ से कुछ भी होता है तू कब भी बोलो मैं आता हूं वैसे कुछ नहीं है तुम कभी बोलो जितने भी बार तो बोलो मैं मॉक लेने बहुत स्ट्रेस में था तो मॉक को खोने लगा तो एक डायरेक्शन में दिमाग में चला गया तो फिर मैंने वो कर दिया बाकी मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस ठीक है ना मैं ऐसे ही बोलूंगा ठीक है हां हां ठीक है ठीक है ये थोड़ा मतलब मैं जो क्वेश्चंस बोला ना उसका प्रैक्टिस करो और गियर पंप का डायग्राम वो रॉन्ग किए थे उसमें वो प्रैक्टिस करो गियर पंप का डायग्राम तुम गलत बनाए थे अच्छा मैं ये कह रहा था राकेश से हेलो ये मैं मेरा जो सेशन लेना वो होता है जो रात को वो वाकई मुझे बहुत हेल्प कर रहा है लोग 12 15 लोग भी आ जाते हैं ना मेरे से अच्छे अच्छे बोलने वाले फिर भी मैं अपना कॉन्फिडेंस मेंटेन करके मॉड्यूल कन्विक्शन के साथ बोलता हूँ ठीक है वो चीजें मैंने अपने अंदर देखा है कि नहीं रेदर देन कंपेरेटिवली और लोगों के हिसाब से जो मेरे साथ है एक बात है एक बात है तुम्हारा टेक्निकल नॉलेज ना बहुत अच्छा है मतलब उसमें कोई डाउट नहीं है बस तुम प्रैक्टिस करो उतना ही मतलब सबसे अच्छा था टेक्निकल नॉलेज तेरे पास इतना सेशन तो कंडक्ट किया इतने लोगों का आंसर सुना इतने नोट्स बनाया डाउट ही नहीं है तुम्हारा टेक्निकल नॉलेज ठीक नहीं वैसे तुम बस फिर से ये पूछना बंद करो ये पूछना बंद करो कि मेरा सिलेक्शन होगा कि नहीं तुम्हारा होगा ही हंड्रेड परसेंट वही ना मैं भले मुझे चीज़, जैसे हर चीजें जो है याद आ जाती हैं अचानक से थोड़े लेट में आती हैं कि ये तो हमने डिस्कस किया है जो 1.5 प्रेशर वही प्रैक्टिस का जरूरत है वही वही प्रैक्टिस का हाँ 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ द वर्किंग प्रेशर कितनी बार हमने बहुत बार डिस्कस किया है ये चीज हाँ डिस्कस किया था मुझे भी अभी याद आया बाद में हम ये कोई बोला था बोल के तो ऐसा है तो मतलब टेक्निकल नॉलेज कहीं ना कहीं इतनी बार हमने डिस्कस किया है मैंने टेक्निकल नॉलेज हंड्रेड परसेंट है टेक्निकल नॉलेज हंड्रेड परसेंट है बस नोट्स रिवाइज करो जो तुम नोट्स बनाए हो और डायग्राम डायग्राम सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप का इंपेलर बहुत छोटा बनाए थे एक बार देख लो मतलब क्या है करके ये गेयर पम्प ऑल ऑफ सडन बनाना बहुत टफ है मैं पहले ही बना के रख लूंगा क्या अलग अलग लेवल का नहीं नहीं वैसा मत करो क्योंकि वो ऑब्जर्व करता है बिगन सा मैं ऑब्जर्व किया हूँ मतलब तो ऐसा करके ऐसा ल... तो तू तो दिखाता है पहले दिखाना है चाहिए मैं मुझे तो पूछा था कि पेन और पेपर है ना करके दिखाओ करके बोला था फिर मैं ही रखा फिर मैं डायग्राम ड्रॉ किया वैसा ही पूछा था तुम तुम प्रैक्टिस करो और गियर पंप का ऊपर गियर भी जो है ना टी तो वो बहुत ज्यादा बनाए थे वो वो थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस करो बहुत ज्यादा भी मत बना बहुत कम भी मत बना ठीक ठाक वो प्रैक्टिस करो गियर पंप का डायग्राम और केसिंग के और केसिंग और गियर के बीच में कितना एक हॉरिजॉन्टली बहुत क्लियरेंस था वर्टिकली तो टच ही कर दिया वो कैसा डायग्राम हो थोड़ा सा तो प्रैक्टिस करो प्रैक्टिस करो तो सर का डायग्राम में भेजा हो ना वो बार बार प्रैक्टिस करो अभी राकेश का मौके ढूंढ लेंगे ऑलराइट ओके यस राकेश सॉरी राकेश जस्ट वेट वेट एक सेकंड एक सेकंड 